Hi, in this session, I'm going to show you how to use the descriptive statistics feature in Excel under the data analysis tool pack to get information such as a mean or a median or a count. So let's say that you have a range of data here. Let's say this is a, a range of data of sales of uh, house houses, and we've got a couple items here. And let me go just delete this particular row first. And maybe you want to get a count of how many items are there. Here we can use the count function that's equal count and then we can just select the range of cells here click on this first cell control shift and down arrow will select all the cells and then just press enter because it auto excel will automatically add a closing parentheses it's smart enough to do that oh let me go back up here and then it counts 42 items so if we selected this control shift down arrow you notice down here it's counted 42. It's also told us that there's an average because these are these are these little calculations that Excel provides here. If you right click this down the cell here, you can get a lot of different uh, customizations. You can add a lot. You can show a lot of things or just toggle it on and off. So I've had average on. I've got count on. There's other things you can add on there. So there's a little quick tip there. Right, just right click it and you can customize that status bar. Well, let's go back to the average here. So the average here, you saw that it was 342. If we want to get the average, which is also the mean, we can type in uh, average, click on that, and then select this, control shift down arrow, press enter. We've got our average here. And then the mean is the same thing, mean, median, excuse me, median, which is the middle point. And we just select that, control shift down arrow, and press enter and we'll get our mean. Let me go back up here. So that's our mean. Well, instead of having to do with all this separately, you just want to get a quick way to count all or get all this information. We can actually just go under the data tab and go to the, under data analysis. Now, if you don't have this available, this is something that you have to add in. I can either right click on the ribbon here and go to customize ribbon, or I can go under the file options. It's going to bring up this Excel options window. You want to click on add in. So let me close this. If I if I just right clicked on any part of the ribbon here, I go to customize ribbon, it'll bring up the same window. Just go to add ins and you want to click on you want to get an Excel add in and you want this particular add in, the analysis tool pack. So if I click go, you'll see that the add ins window comes up. If if I check this and click OK, it's going to disappear. So if I right click, go back to customize ribbon and go under add ins. I'm just going to check that and make sure it shows up again. After click on that, just click OK. It's going to show up here. What I want to do is click on data analysis and I want to have the descriptive statistics selected. Click OK. And now my input range, that is this range here, A2, control shift down arrow to select that and that's going to be the range. I want to put the output range in, maybe I'll just put it right here in the worksheet here. Oops. Uh, mistakenly did that. Let me go ahead and select the input range again. Control shift down arrow, select down and the output range. Let me click in here first. So now I'm going to select this particular cell. I want the summary statistics. I'm click check that checkbox. Click OK. And now I've got my statistics here. So 342 that matches that. The median matches that. I have my count here. Now, if we wanted to see what is the highest um, amount that a house sold at, or this highest price here, there's actually a maximum here, and there's also a minimum here, and there's also a range. Basically, is the difference between the max and minimum. So, if you wanted to have a kind of a quick way to get some summary statistics, there's this descriptive statistics feature in the data analysis uh, commands. You can get your mean, your median, uh, even standard deviation. Uh, there's a lot of different values that it outputs. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.